Hello there and welcome to the Golf Club 2019 featuring PGA Tour. My name is John and I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about the basics of how to swing those clubs in our new game. The man behind the new swing mechanics, Craig, is down on the tee now and he's going to perform some of these swings for us as I talk us through. So let's get down there, see what we can do. First up, let's just look at a perfect swing and I'll tell you a little bit about the swing feedback meter. Okay, freeze it right there and let's enhance. This is your backswing tempo meter. This can impact your swing power and accuracy. This is the downswing tempo meter. Deviating from perfect can add draw, fade, hook, or slice to your shot. And here is your swing plane. Maintaining a straight swing stick input on both the backswing and downswing is crucial to keeping your shot on target. So remember to keep your swing tempo within those windows as indicated on the meter and keep your swing plane straight as you move the stick back and forward. To start your swing, pull back on the swing stick and then push forward. If you're too fast in your backswing as he was here, it's gonna penalize you in the accuracy department. Depending on how fast that backswing was, it can really uh, amplify any mistakes you made in your swing plane. On the other hand, if you have a slow backswing as he's gonna do here, you're not gonna get all the distance that you really deserve in a golf shot. As you can see here, it's going a bit short. Now, if you have a fast down swing, that's gonna close the club face up. And if you're right-handed like he is, that's gonna pull your shot to the left. Also undesirable. Alternatively, a slow down swing is gonna open up that club face. And for Craig, being a right-handed golfer, he's gonna go to the right. And also worth noting, the farther away from the ideal tempo window, as indicated in the, in the meter, the farther away from that, the more drastic the effect will be to the left or right. And speaking of going left or right, this is a perfect time, I think, to talk about the swing plane. So let's get into this section of the tutorial now. We're not talking about tempo anymore. We are just talking about how straight back and forward you can move that swing stick. Okay, he moved the swing stick a little bit too far to the left in his swing, and you can see that indicated in the swing plane section of the meter. Now take a look as he swings outside to the right. You can see the line that gets drawn. That is your exact swing input, and it is falling outside of that swing plane, and that's not good, Craig. Okay, let's keep talking about the swing plane, but more from a shot difficulty perspective. I'm gonna get Craig to cycle through some of the different shot types that you can take. And as he does that, take a look at how the swing plane changes in width as he goes from shot type to shot type. Also worth noting that adjusting your loft, draw and fade in our shot shaper, which is uh, gonna be covered in another tutorial, also impacts the level of shot difficulty. The bigger the adjustment, the more difficult the shot will become. The lie of the ball also has a lot to do with your shot difficulty. Take, for example, this lie in the fairway versus a lie in the sand trap. You can see the swing plane shrinking into oblivion. That's not a pretty scene. All right, up until now, we've been taking full swings in this tutorial, but you know, when you're making those approach shots, a lot of the time you gotta dial in a partial shot. So we're gonna show you how to adjust your shot power now. Okay, he's set up here, 85 yards from the green, but his club has a 91 yard carry. He's gonna have to take just a little bit off this swing to get a nice approach. If you're unsure, take a practice swing or two by clicking in on the right stick. And to take the partial swing, you're gonna have to bring that stick back slower than you normally would. And uh, this is tough to explain, it's all about feel. I highly recommend taking a few practice swings. And Craig's hit a beauty here, 95% power, which is just what the doctor ordered. Don't think you're gonna be hitting the ball like Craig straight out of the gate. It's gonna take some practice and uh, I highly recommend going to the driving range to practice honing your skills, work on your tempo. Start with the beginner difficulty clubs and uh, before you know it, you'll be shooting just like Craig. Thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, have a good one. We'll see you next time.